<laughs> Hello, I'm Max Balegde. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. TikTok wasn't going too well, so we decided to set up our own... Shut up. Oh, we decided to set up our own little business. We did. The Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. Oh, it won't. Sometimes we'll have a little trial E on. Oh, like last week. Didn't work out, bless him. No. Um, but there's hope for the future. More people lined up. We'll see if we get a good employee. Doubt it. But um, it's worth a shot, isn't it? Should we get into today's work? <laughs> Let's do it. What was that little giggle? I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm excited. <laughs> um, I've not seen you in, what, like a week? Where have you been, though? It's been my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Um, but firstly, I want to address your haircut. No. I do. I want to address your haircut it's not first. Ba- it's not bad. It doesn't look that... It's not bad. It doesn't look that bad right now. It definitely did. Um, I think we can insert... Can we insert a clip? Uh, yeah. In fact, three, two, one, <laughs> clip inserted. Um, this is how shit George looked. For the audio listeners, just imagine George looking really <laughs> shit like um, Tintin. Is That's... it Tintin? Tintin, yeah. Yeah, you really did look like that. Which is, uh, ironically, uh, not ironically, but... Uh, unironically. What's the, what's the other word? Unironically. Um, Coincidentally. Not coincidentally, because it's not coincidental. Well, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what's going on in your head. Anyway, it, Tintin. That is what, um, it's what you look like. What northerners say. Um, hmm, when, where are you going with this? <laughs> when in bed... And they can't get it erect. Tintin? What does that mean? Tintin! <laughs> what? It tintin? Oh my god. Tintin! Oh my god. So you're saying like it isn't in? <laughs> tintin! Oh, that's dreadful. That is <laughs> dreadful. Um, but yeah, you looked a bit uh, like shit, but it looks alright now. Thank you. That's alright. That's a yeah. nice compliment. It's, it's grown back. You looked like shit, but it's okay now. Yeah. Um, I think you should always just remember that. When's yours uh, going to become okay? I think that you need to leave. Um, (laughs) I don't think that that's okay Um, And I will be taking it up with HR But anyway, it was my birthday So you have to be nice to me That was my present What? You getting a shit haircut? Yeah To be fair, liked it Because you were rubbing off on me Although that would have been a better (gasps) present, eh? (laughs) Really good present Um, I went to Paris I went to Disneyland Yes And it was That doesn't sound like something you'd enjoy I know, to be fair Not quite off-brand for me Um Basically, how it happened was I was supposed to get my boyfriend a good Christmas present and every idea that I came up with got ruined. He secretly loves Celine Dion. Right. Quite interesting um, for a homosexual man, not very common. Um, And I bought him... Well, I was going to buy him tickets to see Celine Dion this year, but then the selfish cow... Celine Dion. Oh, yeah, literally. Mm. But um, the selfish cow has got a neurological disease that's stopping her from touring now. Oh. And she's likely going to die. Um, Does that make her selfish? Yeah. No, I'm joking. (laughs) I'm joking. I'm joking. I love you, Celine Dion. Don't know her personally, actually. Do you Um, not? Oh, no. I, I assumed Max Belegdi knew Celine Dion. People often do, um, but I just want to, you know, set the press straight. I don't know her personally, but I have heard that she's lovely. You know her personally, don't you? Yes, Max, I know Celine Dion. I don't know any, um, I don't know much about Celine Dion. I can't make any um, funny, witty... Celine Dion, here. she's French. We oui. And she's a singer. Um, oh. We. Oui. <laughs> And um, what does she do? She has so many songs. I'm alive. What? That's Shakira, Ah, isn't it? She's a a bit... Yeah, she's a bit Shakira-esque with with the whole... uh, But she's a bit more of a belter. That's how she speaks. Anyway. Okay. So I couldn't get that. Um, So on, like, Christmas Eve, I was like, well, what do I do? I will get a present. You left it till Christmas Eve? Well, I knew that I was going to take him somewhere, but I just didn't know where or when because my plans kept getting foiled. So I decided to do something that benefits me as well and put a bit more money into it and go away on my birthday weekend. You spent more money on it because you were I Yeah, of course. I mean, I was always going to go with him. But like now it's my birthday weekend, we may as well go to somewhere a bit more fancy so and your go Christmas to Disneyland. Present was a birthday present for yourself. Yes, for this Christmas present. That's really clever, actually. I think more people should do that. Yeah, and even cleverer if you kept it quiet and you didn't 
let him know that was the thought process he doesn't listen to this except he does um and i'll probably be getting a text when he hears this but it's all right do you know what i mean i had a great time and he did as well we ended up one day accidentally going to a gay sex club sorry at disneyland so went to disneyland one day Dickie and mouse. then the next <laughs> oh dicky mouse clubhouse oh that's that was the name of the club dicky mouse chub house oh i don't like that actually. Um, and <laughs> oh god yes yeah, so we had two, Welcome. <laughs> two very oh <laughs> oh 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 wait oh no dicky so- mouse Ooh. Clubhouse. Ooh. I, don't, I um, don't know why I put myself. No, I things, wish that you didn't. Uh, um, not the Dicky Mouse Clubhouse. The impression. We. Um, oh, <clears throat> keep on me a drink. Actually, I just remembered. Oh, I, I just remembered. I'm thirsty. No, I am thirsty. I've been thinking okay. it since we started. But was I just, it the I Dicky Mouse Clubhouse that made you was. thirsty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. was. Right, you ready to pass this? Yes, please. Mug? Thank you. For the audio listeners, oh, I just um, slid my cup along. Also, to the audio listeners, please follow us on Spotify or Apple or wherever you get it. Um, <laughs> Because I get it at the Dickie Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs> I bet you do, darling. Uh, because a lot of you don't, and that's really rude. And we can actually see which ones of you do and don't follow us. And basically, at the end of the month, we're going to do this thing where you're going to get blocked. Um, I'm going to personally, possibly assault you. I don't know. What the hell are you offering? <laughs> I don't right know. Now? Also, um, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. Because loads of you aren't. Grow up and subscribe. And I will assault you as well. Not Stop in a weird way. Stop offering out assaults. Salt and pepper. What, what? I don't know. Was I that did, meant to be I, I, I like know. a, ooh, good one, Max? Yeah. But it wasn't, so that's rude, isn't it? Um, but what, yeah, please what vibe follow do you us. Want with it? What? What vibe do you want with your water? Um, Good vibes only, brother. All right, just add the water then. No, um, want it with, what have we got? I can't no, see it. No, want it, it with. <laughs> open it, open it, open it. Um, The hooch one. Pinky, pinky hooch. What did you call me? Pinky. Pinky, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit. Weird. I've I've had a very extensive weekend, um, but yeah. For the audio listeners, George has just stood up um, <laughs> to reach something. Oh my god! You also just told me that you pulled your ass. So do you want to explain oh. to everybody about that? See, yes, yeah, finally pulled some ass. <laughs> yeah, fortunately it was my own. Yeah, that's not um, good. Yeah, what I was happened? playing playing a bit of footy. Um, we play, and then I got arsey. Oh no, I. I don't know what I was trying to do, uh, but it wasn't uh, anal um, oh. in nature. Boring. Um, but yeah, I've now struggled to sit, move, walk. Uh, it's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> For the audio listeners, I just smacked the table and pretended to laugh really loudly. Well, well they could harshly. hear that. Yeah. Thank you, George. No problem. George just passed me um, my drink and three, two, one. Cheers. All right. Why, why we're we reaching our hands cheers? across. Watch out. That's over the electronics. We're reaching our hands across the table and we bumped our cups together. That's not sexual <laughs> unless you want Cheeky. it to be. Not the first time. <laughs> oh, that is, that is actually ratty. We need new drinks. <laughs> oh, we do. So I think a drinks company has just messaged me. We need them. But I don't really like that. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just want drinks. I don't want this. Uh, um, we are so mixing yeah. alcohol with alcohol. Yeah, so true. Yeah. It's our own fault. So you've pulled your ass. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> in Paris, someone tried to pull my ass. That I tried to segue it. And it just... I feel a bit disgusted, to be honest Honestly. with you. Um, basically, what happened was we went out one night. So we did one day of Disneyland. Okay. And I met and so many people. And sex club. Pretty much, Since yeah. Was that a, a deal? Was that is that a, one of the excursions you can go on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a package deal. It was oh, a package holiday. It is a package deal. Way up. Cheeky. Oh my god. Um, and we <clears throat> had the best time at Disneyland. Got to meet so many of you lot. Thank you for saying hello. Lovely this was to see you. at Disneyland, you. not the sex club. It was well. Did you meet a lot of no, people no, at no, the no, sex no. club? No. Um, and then where we were staying was like in the centre of Paris, and I didn't realise it was like in the like gay club area. When I booked it, do you know, like Soho, it's horrible, isn't it? No, I love it. Oh, I love it's Soho. Soho's great. Yeah. Um, Soho good. Soho good. Them holes be so good. Ooh, didn't like that. Um, and we Googled, like, clubs, like, gay clubs, like, just to go out to, like, have some drinks in that night. <coughs> went to one. It was a bit dead. Um, so, literally, they were, like, in a row, like, down the street. So, we went right. to this other one. 
and there were like two people stood outside of it and then we saw them walk in and it said like club outside of it or something so we're like right okay let's the go club in. was called club I think it was actually like K L U B or something. It was called something like shit. That is such like a shit. club name, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, literally. Is, oh. It's, it's always just a short word spelt wrong. Yeah. Oh. Like if if your name was a club, it would spell M A K S. Yo, do you want to go Max tonight? Oh. It fills me with so much rage, man. Angry, man. I'm angry. Anyway, Ugh, well, you, I don't know. What are you trying? I don't know. Here? I don't know. I don't know. Why did you just make me out to see, see like an absolute mug there? <laughs> yeah, huh? I tried. Why? But it didn't work. Um. Anyway, when we got to the door, it wouldn't open, and we were like, "This is weird." And then it said, "Press button to enter." So there was like a buzzer, oh. and then we got buzzed in, and we did think that's a bit weird. You don't usually get buzzed in to go to like a bar. Open it. You do when you're on something. You're, you're buzzing. You're buzzing all over the shop, mate. Mm, that, was, that was dreadful. Um, please comment down below how bad that was, just to knock his self-esteem. Thank you. That's a bit rude. Um, and then it seemed normal as we walked in. Right. And we had to give our coats, non-optional, to the people behind the bar, and then red flags are starting to go off because that's also a bit weird. Um, took my valuables out, put them in my pocket. Oh bloody hell! Not too soon, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I got only, my cock out. Really just um, got in the sex club, Max. It felt like the next step. Right, so um, I got in, took my valuables out, <laughs> and then ordered um, like vodka lemonades. Yeah. Then quickly realised that there are several TV screens around us playing hardcore gay porn. Nice. And then the red flags were really going off because I've not experienced that since I was at my grandma's house this Christmas. <laughs> That was a lie. That was a lie. Oh, was it? Oh, I thought I thought Nanny Belegdi popped on a bit of gay porn. That's oh, that's such a, a funny sentence. It's on BBC One. No love. We'll pop on the gay porn. Oh. <laughs> I once did that with my grandma's. You did gay porn no, with your grandma. No, no, what no, are you no, talking no. about? We like were flicking through the channels, and I think it was either my granddad or my grandma said they got Babe Station on from like pl- pressing the wrong button, and they were freaking the fuck out, and it was brilliant. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, but anyway, I digress. Okay. Then we are like, oh, we are in a sex club. We are sat down at the bar, mm. gay porn's playing everywhere. Nice. And we looked around, and people were proper eyeing us up. So then we were like, oh my god. Bear in mind, we're quite drunk at this point, so we're just laughing. And yeah. then we're like, right, okay, we're going to have this drink and then leave because it was highly uncomfortable. I'm like, I just need the toilet. It's a bit homophobic, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, go downstairs. <laughs> you and your boyfriend should go elsewhere. <laughs> go downstairs and it was a dark room. Do you know what that is? A room that's not light. Well, it is a room <laughs> where people have sex. Oh, that'll, like, that'll explain why I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> it was like red lights and it was completely silent and all these people lined up so i'm thinking that they're in the queue to get into the toilet so i'm like oh this is a really weird like toilet queue i like walk past them (laughs) and i'm like oh i'll go to the end of the queue they're all staring at me and then i'm like oh they're not in a queue they are all sat stood against a wall looking at the same direction i'm like what are they looking at about four people shagging each other completely naked right there i've oh. now got myself in a position where i'm at the back of oh, this like corridor <laughs> i'm at the back of this corridor and i just felt i had to get involved like what <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was like i felt so awkward i was like fine i'll do I, it i finally saw their faces and it, <laughs> andrew yeah. what's <laughs> going on the toilets for this way <laughs> no but i was like oh my god so i've just walked through this like display you had gay porn speedy boarding literally literally but i didn't i was economy and i'd pushed in wow. essentially and i was like oh my god i was just looking for the toilet the toilet doors uh like cubicles had holes between them like glory holes right that's what um you put your winky let's, let's, through I, let's not jump to conclusions it could have just been oh have you got any toilet paper left true, mate yeah sure true. just hand it through we we don't like to judge um but i was in a state of overwhelmment yeah um, i'm sure that's the word yeah i think it is i've been in a situation like with with my ex-boyfriend sorry to just like go off on a tangent again no, it's that, okay I, that one person I, who is... commented that i make the episode about me every week is gonna be really pissed off now well guess what keith i think his name was keith fuck you haha <laughs> <laughs> what people don't realize is this this may be called the useless hotline but it is just therapy i'm here it to, is. i'm here to help max through his 
struggles. Yeah, George is Hence just why there's here be so to. So many episodes. <laughs> there you go. George is just here to kind of wrap up the oh, loose thoughts hell, one of us that has I to. have. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, we we swiftly left that place anyway. Right, okay. uh, but I once went to. I think I've already told this story on TikTok, so I may as well tell it. With my ex-boyfriend, we hadn't seen each other in ages. This was in like 2018, so I was 19 years old. Well, and we didn't have like a place to stay that night because I was like staying with my family or something in a hotel and he was staying at his place. So, oh my God, no, this makes sound really weird. My family weren't involved. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm getting the story mixed up. Anyway, long story short, I don't know. I don't remember how it was so long ago. We couldn't, like, we hadn't seen each other in a while. We wanted to make love to each other. Classic, but like... Been dude. there. What am I like? That's just like when we meet up after a yeah. while, isn't it? Just wanted. It's been a whole week since the last podcast. Exactly. Need to make love immediately. Yeah, we have to turn up 10 minutes before and... Yeah. Most um, of it's full play. And... <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> and, um... We went to this place, and I won't say its name because I don't want people to go there because it was terrifying. Starbucks. But there's these... Have you heard of gay saunas? No. So well, they I mean, are... I can sort of assume what they are. No, you can't. Trust me. It is like... I. So we heard this, and we thought that it was like a place that was like a gay-friendly sauna. Just get hot and sweaty amongst men. What's Pretty hot much. Like? And that, like you could have like your own private room there nice. and everything that you could like go and like do something if you wanted to, obviously. So I'm thinking I'm obviously yeah. in a relationship with my boyfriend. It's a nice sauna where people aren't going to be like judging us yeah. and you can book like a private room. Like this seems like nice. perfect. And it's literally on Oxford Street. Like you wow. go down a corner of Oxford, Oxford Street. Street. <laughs> literally. And it's there, and it's terrifying. We got there. The first red flag was that we both got in for, like, five pounds, whereas the usual entry is, like, 30, because they thought that we were attractive, which means that a lot of attractive people don't go there. Um, right. And why are you laughing at the thought of someone finding me attractive? No, that's, that's really not funny rude. At all. That's really fucking rude. Let me have a drink of my drink on that. And, um... <laughs> Grow up. Um, we go to try and find this like private room thing we go in first of all there are a bunch of people led on sunbeds around this pool right. that was cold by the way we got in it oh i forgot to even mention we, ah. Bought, ah, we bought swimming trunks for it because obviously we get there i'm putting yeah. my swimming trunks on there's a guy in the chair he goes no you can't wear swimming trunks no you had to be naked Red is not your color <laughs> You had to be naked. What, I don't know what accent that is. I don't know what that was from, either. But... Yeah, I didn't like it. Um, and you needed to be naked. Like, so they gave Where you a little hand towel on Oxford Street, literally. Okay, I'll make sure I admit They that gave now. you a little hand towel to put around you. That's all you need. Well, there you go. <laughs> the you could do, you could do a little it, flannel. Wrapped around. Um, and <laughs> then we went into this, like, sauna place got into this thing that i thought was a hot tub it was freezing cold water at this point we're like oh. what is going on people are getting off with each other we're like let's just go through try and find one of those private room things yeah. we get into this is awful i can't even believe i'm saying this but i'm pretty sure that i've told this story but i don't know if i went into this much detail but this is aw- like genuinely one of the most horrific on the edge of, seat, times of my life sorry so we find this room ultimately we're very confused by the whole situation we're like we don't yeah. really want to be here we contemplated leaving but then we were like well once we get in a private room we'll just like chill out together it's like a comforting environment when it's just us so that's fine we go into this room do you know like fogged glass yeah it was like a fogged glass room okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank so, god i knew about fogged glass there you guys <laughs> so we were like this must be the private room because you couldn't see into it yeah and then so we are in it it's quite like spacious we're like getting with each other and then I see that somebody has their feet going. There was like a little um, <laughs> thing above, like under the door. Do you know, like right. when there's under a stall door, there's yeah. like a little gap. Yeah. They had their feet facing in at us. So I was like, what are you doing? I was outwardly saying like, what are you doing? Like what's going on? And then this person was just not moving. And I was like, right. what the fuck is your problem? Like I was getting really aggressive. And I was like, what is your problem? And my boyfriend's going like, oh no, stop. This is my ex-boyfriend, by the way, like five years ago. Right. Um, and he's like, what What are you doing? Like, don't worry about it, it's fine. He's like, they can't see us. He's obviously just a creep who's there. And I was like, well, I can't get off with you if there's somebody's feet like nearly touching exactly. us right there. No so feet, then- no meat, that's the- Absolutely, that's the common <laughs> saying, isn't it? Um, everyone says that. Wait, feet, no meat, no feet. No meat would there be you the, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then we 
carry on getting off with each other. And then through the fogged glass, I see... Love people. Through the fogged glass, I see that there's people all around us. Right. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, we are fully naked getting with each other. Yeah, I thought this was fogged glass. Why can't I see you? Yeah, no, no, no. They, they couldn't see us. Oh. And then I look up. There is a mirror above us where we could see everybody's eyes. We were in a box that is meant to be a display for other people to come and watch. Oh. So people had been <laughs> watching us since the since we'd got into the box because oh. we had deli- we had unknowingly got into a box that is meant for people to come and watch you How do, do you things. Un- Surely there's a sign there. On there was no signage, nothing at all. I could not believe you, it. You'd we would be left. awful at a zoo. Why is no one else hopping in with the gorillas? <laughs> Come on, guys. It was terrifying. We literally, I nearly cried. I ran out. Like, all these people have been wanking off over us. God. Which usually is like, good Tuesday night for me. Yeah. Um, If you get at least three. At least three. Yeah. Three wanks a night, that's a good one. Absolutely. There was once this homeless man wanking, and right, not to brag, okay. but when he made eye contact with me, he came. You're right. You shouldn't be bragging about that. Why not? What do you have against homeless people? Nothing against homeless people. Mm, it doesn't just... sound like it. How the hell have you tried to spin <coughs> this on? <laughs> 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 God. What have you done? I don't know. It, let, it like went down my breathe hole. <laughs> oh my God. So our audio listeners, uh, Max <laughs> decided to take a sip and instead of sipping it, just spat it all over the oh table. Oh my God. I'm so sorry to everybody. What have you done? I don't, I don't even know. It like went down my, it was like going to come out my nose. <laughs> it went oh down. <laughs> that was awful. <coughs> oh, we're a bit of a mess, aren't we right now? It's okay. We'll get through it. Um, we always do. But anyway, went down yeah, the breathe hole. I'm quite upset that I just told that story. We genuinely, when I told that story on TikTok, everyone was like, "Oh, they already, they must have, like, we must have known, and we went there on purpose." We literally did not know what a gay sauna was to that extent. Like, we thought it was just like a nice sauna that where everyone was gay. Yeah. Um, and we <laughs> we thought that we'd be like the only ones like Sorry. shagging each other. <coughs> it's alright, don't worry. Health God. comes first. Look after your health. It's okay, George. <coughs> oh, bless him. Oh, God. Um, for the audio listeners, George has just stood up. Oh, and he's back. Oh, you survived. That's a shame. Um, <sighs> Sorry, there's just so much homosexuality. I'm allergic. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'd like to point out that was a joke. <laughs> Before it's anybody takes that out of context. It's not. He comes up in hives every time I'm around him. Especially when I wear pink. I did tell you you need to stop coming up in hives. Get stings on the penis. Hey. I've got um, Pokemon From the coming crops. in the hives. The bees. I'm choosing to ignore you. They sting your cock. Do you know bees are actually quite friendly? And they only attack us well, because they just we... crush your cock. They're actually <laughs> quite good at it. <laughs> no, let's, let's move on. But queen bees actually have miserable lives. I don't know. Jay-Z seems like a lovely <laughs> husband. <laughs> Why can't I write? Shut up. But look at my crocs. Why are your feet on the table? They're not. Oh, your feet, your shoes. Because they're my Crocs. Nice. Thank you. Yes, that's why I wore them. Matches my t-shirt. Mine match my t-shirt. I'm not going to be able to get my feet up this high. No. <sighs> just Go just on. imagine that they He's match. He's already pulled his ass. Yeah. So pull your thigh. Anyway, <laughs> um, would you ever go to like a sex club? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, I got it. Well, you've never willingly gone. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, I bye guess bye. if I accidentally fall in a... I feel like you're a liar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, how, then. How can you constantly end up in sex clubs? Well, it's not and constantly. Never, never it's to... two times in my entire life. Two times Actually, more than me. I did it once with my friend who was a girl in Amsterdam. Not Amsterdam. Am- Antwerp. And we walked you into can't call that, Max. <laughs> we walked into a dark room in that, knowing what it was, just because we found it funny. And we both got groped, and then we felt upset, and then left. Well, go to the lion's den. Prepare to get mauled. Fair enough. That that common saying as well. Um, but anyway, shall we just get on with our job for the Please. day? Please, please. Yes. 
I don't really like where this topic of enough conversation has gone. The enough with the moth. What's cooler talk? Oh. oh. No, that's what you said at the age yeah. of 18. Yeah, literally. Actually, the age of 17. Oh. Not now I look. I've got egg on my face. Yeah, hey. you do. And I've got Fanny on mine. Oh, you uh, do? No, I don't. We've got one coming in. Wait, it's an email. <laughs> Wait, for the audio listeners, sorry. Jesus Christ. That's me pressing the keyboard keys. <coughs> and then the one's going to get rid of Sorry, out. and then just maul their ears with keyboard mm-hmm. clicks. Oh, you did well there. You, actually you know what they say, there. go to the lion's den, you're going to get mauled. Literally just not even relevant in this circumstance. Anyway, hi Max and George, I have a problem that you may relate to nice. in that I can't stop burping all of the time. Hey. They are always very loud and come out of nowhere. People are always telling me it's rude and not ladylike, but I can't help it. Should I embrace the burp or try to stop them somehow? Thank you from Australia. Nice. Well, I'll Firstly, that's an interesting name. Who's from Australia? Australia. I say. Very good. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll let you take this though. Um, well, I often you're very loud and come out of nowhere. Um, I don't really burp that much, and also I don't really like ever, you know, projectile <coughs> throw my drink out of my mouth um, no. whilst filming a podcast episode. I would never do such a thing. Um, but what I would say is just try and disguise it. I've not very. You're not very good at that. No, I've recently <clears throat> gone through a stage in my life where they kind of just attack me out of nowhere, and I have very little control over it. Whereas when I was younger, I used to be afraid of burping. So I would swallow oh, them. This is a deep-rooted sh- issue. Yes. And make sure that it didn't happen. I actually also used to be afraid to go to public toilets. I would never go to the toilet in school. In and case someone burped? No, just it, I didn't want to. I was scared. Right. Of what? Um, the, of the, going the boogie to the man? To- well, actually, there was a like a tale in my old school <clears throat> and it was I think it was in my old school I don't remember like my sister's school and it freaked me out the that there was it? that there was <laughs> shut up that there was someone called the white lady oh. in the bathrooms of the school and that if you sound like a very scary let me tell you a tale about the white lady in the bathroom no but it Ooh, there was this was it statue Kim well there was this statue in the graveyard <laughs> near where I lived, and it was just a replica of this woman, all in white, like, statue. Right. And there used to be a rumour that if you said, white lady, white lady, I stole your white baby into the mirror three times, then she would come and kill you. So I never went to the toilets, and I would often piss myself. You didn't, But you could have used the toilet without saying those words. Yeah, but I was scared that of just going in general. I don't really know. I can't, I can't really put it into words. But for a large period of my time, I did not go to the bathroom in school. So I would wow. hold it in till the very last moment of the day. And then I'd get to my mum's house afterwards. As she's like opening the door, I'd be like, I'm going to piss myself. And sometimes I would piss myself a little bit, run into the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Wow. So I don't really know how that helps here. I'm not really sure what the relevance of that is at all, actually. But perhaps just <clears throat> if you can feel it coming on, if you have the luxury of feeling it coming on, then right. remove yourself from the situation. Not all of the situations where you feel like coming on. Yeah, if you're, at, if you're at a gay sauna, Embrace dive it. in. There was this person there who was a Jabba the Hutt-like Jabba character. Hutt. Yeah. That literally had arrows drawn on their ass cheeks. Right. To like, and they were just laid on the floor. Like arrows as in like, enter here. Oh, like Avatar. Except it wasn't the last airbender, it was just the bender. Just just a big fat bender. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, one of many. <laughs> anyway, I think, yeah, remove yourself from the situation if you feel it coming on. Because it's not nice to hear. I don't like it when I do it. And I can't physically stop it. it like, I feel like you could physically no, stop it. No, promise you, nowadays, like, it happens and I'm like... <sighs> oh god. What, yeah. Are we still talking about a burp? No. Oh god. I hope you haven't done that in the office. Would you? Would I what? Have you ever worked in an office before? Other than here? No. Right, okay then. There was somebody, when I used to work at an, in an office of a very established company that I'm not going to name because oh, sorry, they assume... Sorry, Flex. That's right. You used to work at a very established company? I did indeed. Um, I once opened Grindr, if you remember. The gay, homo- the homosexual dating app. Yeah. 
and there was somebody on it that was like, I'm on this floor in the bathroom, come and like, come inside of me. And I was like, we are in a professional work environment and you're getting shagged. That is quite wild to me. You are also, you were also on Grinder. Yeah, but I didn't do anything, <clears throat> but I could have, but I didn't because I'm a professional man. And I do know some people like our age, some of my friends that work in like office environments and it's very common to shag people that you work with, often sometimes in the office. Surprisingly common. Why are you posing this to me? Would you do that? Not necessarily with me. <laughs> Producer Kelly? Right now. <laughs> but would you, like, would you be able to do something like that? I would find it so terrifying. Unless I was, like, drunk and it was, like, after work drinks or something. I don't know. But I would get scared. No, not in an office. Yeah. Why would you do... No, not at all. Yeah. Never. The paper would get everywhere. Oh, I, I imagine it's in a toilet. I don't think they're just, like moving the computer to the side and having a good old go on each other's <laughs> genital parts. Storage parts. cupboard. Very suits. Uh, Meet you in there. there. That looks more like the chokey. Give you a chokey. Oh, hey? I hope. No, I wouldn't. Have you watched the new Matilda? Barely touch your teeth. What? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> Barely touch my teeth. Before I got the gap the lips and then... <laughs> Before I got the gap removed, it would have slid right through. <laughs> Very easily. Yeah. What, throwing a sausage down a hallway? Oh, no, that's... bless. That's about the teeth. What would you say the circumference is? Of your teeth? Of your penis. <laughs> wow. Right. You know a, a Pritt stick? Mm-hmm. And then you know the small ones. <laughs> <laughs> like half of that. <laughs> Just one of, the, one of the really small Pritt sticks. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, you know, it's not how large the weapon is. It's where you stab it in your opponent. Oh. That I don't know what that means. Forced. Yeah, it does. Um, <clears throat> Calling your lover an opponent. Yeah, that's a bit weird, that isn't it? Mm, very odd. Kind of wish I didn't. Wish I didn't do that. Mm. Oh well, moving on. Um, <laughs> to conclude, in advice to, to this conclude, person. Conclude. <laughs> just try and hold your burps in. Yeah, you stinky <laughs> bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Rude. Who said that? Oh. That was weird. If only there were a phone call. Oh, <gasps> there is. Ah, <laughs> oh my God, look at that. What the hell? That's crazy. <laughs> it is. It right. really is. I've got really swish with it now. Oh, I can tell. Hey guys, so I'm like a massive fan of your guys' account and oh. I think you're so funny. So I wanted to share my story with you guys. So, um, Sounds like a me robot. and my boyfriend went to Nando's this one time and uh, he went to the toilet and he asked me to order him a milkshake. So okay. I actually forgot to tell the waitress he was lactose intolerant. No. So he came back from the toilet, he drank How his dare. milkshake. I didn't want to say anything. So after that, we went to my best friend's party because it's her birthday and we got blackout drunk and... Uh, somehow we ended up at home like at like six in the morning Crazy. we woke up and we were in our own bed and um, we didn't know how we got wild. there but he had shot all over my um, Egyptian cotton bed sheets and he was in pieces. Pyramid. He he got up and he was like apologizing. He locked himself in the bathroom and he was devastated and our relationship just hasn't been the same oh. ever since then. And I feel awful for doing this to my husband. And husband. I just want it to be normal again. Can I please have some advice? Right. I have a few questions here because firstly that sounded like a twelve year old boy who was also a robot. Underwater. But now they have a husband, despite saying at the beginning of the voice note that it was their boyfriend. And then they referred to who I can only assume is their friend called Cotton Sheets as Egyptian, which I think is quite rude to just point out someone's race. <clears throat> yeah, unnecessary. Like, quite really unnecessary. Yeah. And also <clears throat> why was their friend cotton sheets sharing the bed with them for their boyfriend slash husband to shit on them in the night that is funny yeah <laughs> no but seriously what was that <laughs> <laughs> i'm a bit I'm, confused I'm, I'm unsure um mm. so they got blackout drunk yes and the boyfriend slash husband returned home yes and turned the bougie into poogie yes and because he'd had a milkshake oh. that the person got at Nando's, which I don't even think you can get milkshakes at Nando's. That is... I think that this is rooted in falsehoods um, <laughs> because this is not true. <laughs> Quite frankly, I think that this person <coughs> has made this up and I don't appreciate liars. Mm. So you, you little robot bitch, and your Egyptian Whoa. friend 
and your boyfriend slash husband that's a hell of a soundbite can quite frankly go and fuck yourselves you you little robot bitch and your Egyptian husband Egyptian friend named Cotton Sheets are you taking that out of context you have just unnecessarily named someone's race when no I did not actually it was actually very necessary when berating them <clears throat> I would never do such thing well, I just I sort of whip me own eyes. Let's let's pretend that it is true. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's just suspend reality for a moment and um, believe this robot bitch. If you're lactose intolerant, don't have lactose. Oh my god! It I'm, literally says in the name you're intolerant to it. Literally, love. grow up. Honestly, Andrew's, are you lactose intolerant? No. Andrew is. I eat whatever I want, and he's a fucking nightmare because he eats everything that he wants, but it's awful. Oh, like, god. oh. Makes me ill. Joe Bags is really lactose well, intolerant as well. Badly. Does it make you just poo a lot? I think it just makes it like worse when you do poo and it's like grow. I don't really know because Andrew doesn't poo a lot, but when he does, he's like it's this an event. Nice. I'm sure he'd love this conversation. Yeah, I'm sure that he will. But it's it's literally like an event, and he's it's in an like event. agonizing Woo, pain. Andrew! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Everyone's got signs. It's, poo day. it's so unfortunate. It's really quite embarrassing when you're just sitting there at home, and then the crowd forms outdoors. Yeah. Um, you don't really want it, but then when they're there, it's like right, may as well let them in. Yeah. Um, he's gonna need some support through this difficult time, and nine times out of ten, it does come out of him. And on the odd occasion where it doesn't, the crowds have got quite abrasive, to be honest with oh, you. Wow. Um, so I've had to use physical violence to fend them off at times. Um, but I live to tell the tale. Just keep them away with a shitty stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh, oh! Oh, God. Joe Bags has really bad IBS as well. Wow. Lactose intolerance. No, yeah, I stayed. You I, I was in a room. Way. I was in a room with him. It's not nice. Um, and the way I'd be able to tell was either I'd see him or I'd hear him. Yeah, George, go for a poo. Ugh. Ugh. Joseph. Yeah, no, it's thank not you. Good. It's it, it does seem painful. Um, it probably had something to do with the fact that he was drinking like four liters of bath water a night, and we were in Spain. Drinking bath water. <clears throat> what? He insisted. He said, "George, hop in the bath, and I'll take some of your water." <laughs> no, um, he just, just you know, there's, there were these big bottles of water, like this big, um, no. and it just fill it f up from the bath because it really? didn't fit in the sink, and then it just sip all that all night. Is that health? Can you do that? I don't, I don't know. I don't think you can in Spain. Yeah. So you hate Spanish people? Um, I don't hate Spanish people. Well, I that's just, what you just said. I hate their water system. Oh wow, that's controversial. Drinking from Spain, take away the S. Pain. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bloody hell. Let this heard that before. Oh, I'm upset. Um, um, more shallow. Um, <laughs> are we done with this? Yeah. Um, I think that that question... Also, that seemed like a fake American accent. I'm just putting that out there. We can't... No, we'll, we'll leave it there. No, I'm going to double down on that. was a fucking fake robot Shot. bitch. Max doubling down. Yep. Don't mess with me. No fogged glass around here. No. Oh, I'm so sad that I told that story, but I feel like it needs to be told so that people don't make the same mistake I did. Yeah, I don't think that was really educational, if I'm honest with you. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I think I've got an email for Oh, really? Thank God. Yeah, thank bloody God for That's that. That's good, yeah. Um, oh. Do you know what I typed in there? What? Vagina. Oh, hmm. did it work? Let's see. Well, we'll see if one's getting printed off now. Let's see. I was about to no, say something horrible. Then. Mm, let's say it. No, no. Say can't it, say otherwise it. I won't pass it. Yeah, we can cut it out. I was just saying so I could spell it. Come in. Oh, that's not no, that bad. That's, Have you heard yeah, our podcast? That, that's just horrible, though. Right. Oh, thank you. Just <laughs> just tease it with me and go, yeah, go on. Ellen. <laughs> right. All about the teasing, not about the pleasing. I believe... <laughs> We've got a, uh, a wannabe Spaniard here. What does that I mean? say wannabe because they haven't said hola. They said holla. Oh, holla. Holla, George and Max. Bit of bestiality. What? what? <laughs> Bit of bestiality story. Sorry. Bit of bestiality. Oh, she spelled bestiality wrong. Bit of beast. Dang, I get autocorrect back up, love. Bit of bestiality story. Sorry. A girl I went through high school with videoed herself touching up her dog. With her hands, oh. 
and mouth. That's hot. <laughs> it's not. I'm joking. I'm joking. That is not hot. Carry on. Um, then accidentally posted it to a Snapchat. There's no accidents. No. That's I mean, I did that once. Not with my dog. With myself. But well, carry you, on. You tongued and fingered yourself and no, put it on Snapchat. No. Disgusting. Yeah. This awful. ended up. This ended with her being reported to the school and the RSPCA and her dog being rehomed along with being called dog lover for the rest of school and a lot of therapy. Well, that's probably called for. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> the question in this story is. Dog lover is now dating my ex-boyfriend who didn't go to our school and doesn't know the story. Oh. He cheated on me, which ended our six-year relationship, so I don't care about his feelings. Mm. Uh, the problem is his family dog, Podge. Oh. She was quite fat. Oh, bless. He's a five-year-old French bulldog who lives with my ex. <laughs> Still talking about the boyfriend? <laughs> oh, uh, God. Uh, well, his parents are travelling, so do I let him know the story of his dog lover, GF, and save Podge from maybe being molested? That's oh. mental. Or do I leave it and let him find out on his own? Many thanks, dog lover hater. So to get this right, in this circumstance, I don't think you'd rather be a lover than a fighter. <laughs> she knows that this girl who used to wank off her dog is now going out with her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. And even though she doesn't like her ex-boyfriend, she wants to protect her ex-boyfriend's dog from getting wanked off. Yeah, Podge doesn't deserve this. I don't think... Any dog deserves to get wanked off, Very unless true, they actually. want, unless they like it. I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't I'm, think that's a thing that a little terms and condition you can add on to that. That next. is true. Um, oh, I promise he liked it. I'm not going to help you in the court of law. There was a boy in my school who put whipped cream on his arsehole and then made his dog lick it off and then filmed it. A boy in his school. How do you call Max Belleg Day? <laughs> that was the Snapchat that you posted, wasn't it? No, I posted an awful Snapchat of myself that I was supposed to send to Andrew. This isn't even that long ago. Oh, and it got no. put onto me. Thank God I only have like a Snapchat account that has, I've had for years and therefore only has like, <laughs> like uh, not that many people in from like my teen years as well. Hey, I've had and it for years, so I've got no friends on it. Yeah, yeah. And I posted it and it meant to just film it in Snapchat, save it, and then send it to him via text. Did that. Two minutes what was later, it? What was the video of? I'm not was telling you. Was it a you. video? Yes, I'm not telling Ooh. you what it was. George, it was so bad. Anyway, two two <laughs> minutes later, genuinely, like I thought, I felt my whole career flash before my eyes. I genuinely did. Oh my God. Two minutes later, this girl who I met in a smoking area in heaven, like before the pandemic, wow. Snapchats me, so I think that is so random. And I literally contemplated, I'm just gonna leave it and like not open it, because that's weird. Yeah. Decide to open it. She'd replied to it saying, um, babe, did you mean to put this on here? And I was like, oh my fucking God. I'd not used Snapchat in so long. So I was like trying to work out how to delete it. My heart was Grandad. pounding. Two people had seen it. One being her, one being some other randomer who I n will never know who it is. Yeah. But it did get deleted and it's never got released or anything. But oh. how mental is that? Oh, I'm What was upset. it? What was it? Oh. I'm not going to tell you what it was. It was horrible. I'm, it was awful. What, if I, what do I have to George, do to, to get literally this Literally, there's you? nothing if that I you can do. If I down my drink, will you do it? Not a fucking chance, if but I... down your drink. Huh? Maybe, actually. Down your drink. No, you won't do it, though. Yeah, I will. You can't give it a maybe. I will. It has to be you, you say it, or at least right. allude to it. Will you allude to it if I down my drink? Yes, I'll allude to it. No, how how much allude? I don't know. How much allude? <laughs> how much How much will you allude to it? As I'll allude as much as allude can get. I'll allude... A little lewd. A little bit lewd. You leak a little lewd as opposed I'll to a little, little lewd. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, down your drink. Oh, God, there's quite a lot there. Down it then. Right, how, how much will you... I will, will this... George, down your fucking drink. Will this spur drink. you to tell you what you posted to Snapchat? Yes. Will it spur me? Yes, I will. I'll tell spur you the Spur me? Ugh. Ugh. I'll tell you if you if you do it. All right, will you actually? Yeah. Shake on it. Shake on it. Don't get that hand up because you're crossing those fingers. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. That's classic Max for leg D. All right, get it up then. What hand? Show what hand? Show that hand. Okay, okay, then. Right. So now, if I down this, you have to tell me. Okay, then. <laughs> Do it. Were you crossing your legs? You can't cross your legs. What do you mean? Am I crossing my legs? Were you crossing your legs? No. I didn't even think of that. Stand on the table and there's no there's no crossing <laughs> allowed. Standing here. on anything. What do you mean? That's not safe. We're in a workplace. You can't cross. No crosses allowed. There's no crosses that have taken place. You crossed your legs, didn't you? And you think No you... Only a ten year old. Everybody would comment think that down works. below, did I cross my legs? Only a ten year old would think that works, by the way. Okay then. So, shake my hand again with nothing crossed. Okay. Absolutely nothing crossed. Okay. 
You I just saw you move your leg. No, you didn't. Not happening, Max. You're depriving the viewers. <laughs> you I'm did. depriving the viewers of what? No, in the story. I was going to do this for you guys at home. But, Wait, this. But somebody. Is this being filmed? <laughs> Max did a funny guys. <laughs> Only took him nine episodes. But, but, um, <laughs> this is episode eight. Fuck you. Is it actually episode eight? I don't know. I think. It is was, it? Exactly. Yeah. Fuck I you. I guess no. I thought that was a hell of a long shot. No. Go on. Dra down your drink. Yeah, but you have to. Activate. I'll allude to it then. Okay. I'll allude to it if you down yeah. your drink. Okay. I promise I will allude to it. Okay. Go on. Right. On our friendship. What does that mean? Okay. On our lovership. What does that mean though? On our what? What does that mean? You promised to do it on our friendship. So if you, if you don't do it, then no, we, so we cease to be friends. No, if I do it and you friends. don't, then, then we're not longer we friends. We cease to be friends, Max. Okay. okay. And I don't invite you to my party. Okay. Are you having a party? No, that was very year two. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking. You're oh my not God, my friend I've anymore. I've not been invited. Okay. okay. <laughs> mm, that's so gross. Ew, 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 ew. Oh. Okay, Allude, so it was. Max. It was a sexual video of me. Well, I knew this. That's not that you can't allude. I never that. once said that it was a sexual video. Everybody knew that, no. That, no, you can, no you they can't... didn't. What? No, you can't. It was a video of me sexually with my whole body in it. You have to. You have to allude to more than that. We all know that was true. What? What more can you possibly? What? What do you think I was doing? Fucking like fisting myself. Like what? What? Right, fisting's off the table. Fisting's off the table. Um, what about traffic cone? What? Oh, you're having a traffic cone at your Yeah. Own. No, come, allude to it more. Was it something... Going in me? Yeah. No. No, was no. it you doing something to yourself? Yes. <laughs> something something rogue or something that Not most something people that do? Not something that rogue, no. But like you could see a bit of my face in it and then see my body and then see like what I was doing. <laughs> so it's like it would it would have like been awful. Like I'm ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's, pretty much okay that's funny, that's funny. <clears throat> yeah and it was it was deeply traumatic i remember because i'd not seen andrew it was it must have been like still in lockdown days because i'd not seen him for a period of time because i think mm. we'd gone back into a lockdown or something and um or i don't fucking know to be honest but we were like being like sexy over message <laughs> and which makes me feel a bit <laughs> sick to be fair <laughs> And the, when I tell you, we don't really do stuff like that anyway, but we were like, oh, let's just it try it. so not me. And then the whole vibe was just destroyed, like, instantly, because I was just, like, nearly in tears. Like, I can't believe that this random girl I met in a small canary of, like, four years ago has my entire career in her hands. <laughs> and she just chose to, like... But that is a lesson. That's the one person you know. There's another person out there. There's one more person, and whoever you are, I'm so sorry that you saw me. Imagine this reminds them, and they go, oh, yeah, I was going to end his career. Oh my god, no. No, please don't. <laughs> please don't do it. Um but yeah. People awful. will edit your face onto like themselves now and try to and To be fair, I'd like that. I'd like to see what body type they would give me. Do you want well, edit I think, away? I think they named it in this. Uh Podge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want edit away? I've got a six pack. I've got you can't really see because I wear quite baggy clothes. Um, but edit away. I've got like a massive pec tits. What are they call pec tit pector pec tits pec tits pectorals 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 pectorals. Yours will be pectorals. Oh. Because they droop. Oh, they do. They cry. They Bless do. Them. I'm getting a personal trainer though. I've actually I'm actually sorting it out. Oh yeah. There's a TikTok personal trainer who seems like very like on it right. um, but he lives too far away from me people keep telling me to go with him but i can't go with him sadly oh. um but i found someone else i'm gonna do it that so really bloody interesting right <laughs> fuck you <laughs> fuck you always oh, down to drink now he's like oh, right, okay oh <gasps> can you hear that too yeah right i best answer the bloody phone then i <laughs> bloody hell max Shh. Hey George and Max. Hey. I'm watching the podcast and I just wanted to share a little current situation that I'm going it through and hopefully it makes sense. Current so affairs. I'm recently single. Aww. Um and Ugly I've folk. been speaking to a few different guys, but I do have difficulty with reading signals and oh, traffic figuring out whether people are floating with me or not. And right. also floating back. So right. any advice on how to pick up on those signals and get the message across well, please let me know. Love you both. All right, I can take this one. 
Go on. Um, white circle with a black line through it is national speed limit. Right. And um, then there's obviously them red circles that just have the number, and yeah. that means that whatever that number is is the speed limit. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, um, quite self-explanatory, this one. Red, ooh, octagon? Yeah, that says stop. Stop means you have to stop people often get confused with that one which mm. i find quite crazy because i'm like it literally says stop yeah um there's the triangle with the exclamation mark i think that means trigger warning bulked. trigger warning yeah <laughs> um and then there is there's us. one that looks like it's a man struggling with an umbrella <laughs> But is actually roadworks right ahead? Well, yeah, I, hope I it sure does. hope it does. Oh, and then um, <laughs> there's the two people that have that podcast who make shit jokes, and that's us that's right sign now. That you should stop listening. Right? Yes. Um, and then there's the actual question that we should probably yeah, answer. Yeah, we'll probably address that now. Um, I think. I mean, I find it pretty obvious if someone's coming on to me because nine times out of ten. The cocks in my mouth. They're... What? <laughs> what? I knew oh, that would throw you off. Come, come on to is in. I th oh, come on to or come it inside of. What? The I'm joking. Oh. I'm obviously joking. What? I'm jo I'm making a joke. Jeez, I'm just so un unused to it. What? It's, right. It's such a rare. How do you know when someone's flirting with you? Um, because well, typically a woman. you go. <laughs> Or, or all a of them. family member. No. Hmm. No. No? Um, <laughs> I, th I, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like if you're questioning it, then you're both just waiting for one of you to make the move. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you, I feel like you wouldn't be questioning it because if, like, you don't think I'm flirting with you because you know it. Because I so, know that you are. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I think, yeah, if you're in those moments, I mean, we've all been in those moments in the club. In the club. In the club. When you're eyeing each other up and you're going, what, what's going on here? <laughs> like, are we going to... Hang about. What's going yeah, on? What, what's going on? Are we going to... Are we not... Oh, what's going on? And then they do the sexual assault claim against you. That is mental. Why have you gone there? I don't know. I've had a bit of drink now. I was, I was making a joke. And I, it's not funny and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is <laughs> mental. Um, what Max was trying to say <laughs> was when you're eyeing each other up in the club. Yeah. If you, I feel like if you catch each other's eye contact mm. more than three or four times. Would you often wear like a not, baseball glove to awkward. catch that? And, and it's not awkward. Yeah. I feel like then that's a sign. Like, I have, it, but, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, I feel. I think you're either attractive or you're not, babes. I'm sorry. We're Take just fit as mirror. fuck. And if you're not, no one wants to shag you. I'm not being rude or nothing, but like, they probably don't. Uh, no. I think that the it's taking a weird turn. I'm, I feel quite drunk all of a sudden. Okay. Why have you suddenly become drunk? I don't know. I think Did me um, drinking make you drunk. I've pretty much finished mine. Have you? Yeah. Do you want to top up? Yeah, actually. Shall we? This is the first top up we've I know. Ever had. I'm feeling quite. Oh my bit, god, guys, we're breaking the I'm rules. We're having a top up. What do you want? Apart from rehab. <laughs> Oh, George, that is so gross. That's For the audio listeners, he's got out... Um, let's just split a lemon brew. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. For the audio listeners, George has got out the um, can of summer. Oh, my God. George has whipped out his can. <laughs> um, and oh I can't God. believe it. Um, so, what she's saying is that she can't understand the, the um dating. No, we understood what you said. Oh, my God, yeah. He, she. What she said is that she doesn't know if people are flirting with her and i think that if you don't know if they are or not then they're probably not i mean yeah that seems to make sense to it me it depends because i feel like some people are very um cautious very cautious like because if you're like Thank if you. you're like a good friend or like you don't want to make the move in case you completely screw it because you're scared I yeah. feel like that could be a lot of people's standpoint yeah what does that mean <laughs> you can't what? agree with it and go, oh. <laughs> so instead of 
making it completely obvious I've, they're leaving the bait for you to do it and if you're leaving the bait for them to do it nobody's going to take the bait and scran Uloso and no rod is going to get caught oh George you have lost me big time so if you're both what is happening? if you're both like being flirtatious but not to the point where it's like oh they're being flirtatious mm. they're leaving bait for you to latch onto and then be flirtatious do you know what I'm saying oh no I don't anyway what you, <laughs> well, how much have you had to drink the same as you but why I think um, I don't really know I feel really quite drunk all of a sudden. Did you... Max has decided to take us onto a segue that was just completely pointless. I'm so I sorry. I feel really drunk and I don't even know why. This what is a good time you... for me to get some information out of him, guys. Oh. Guys. Oh. oh. Um. Yeah. What are you saying? I forgot what We're talking the about thing is. Um, they're, un- they're undecided whether they think they should take the plunge because they're being flirtatious, but they're not sure whether they right. are. Right. If you're not sure if someone's flirting with you back, then they're probably not, so stop trying because that's no, a bit no. weird. I feel like test oh. the gra- test the waters Sorry. because yeah. if... Yeah, always flirt a little bit, and then you should be... I think ground rule is you should be able to tell if someone is flirting with you. Yeah, and if you can't, test the waters to see if they will reciprocate. If you're, if you're interested, test the waters to see if they'll reciprocate, yeah. and then Go swimming. if not... Who cares? Who actually cares? And that whole thing, take them swimming. Nobody the will care because the the worst thing that will happen is they'll be like, "Oh, they liked me." Yeah, or they didn't. And then you can just be like, "Yeah, I did." So what? I always used to, I used to walk up to people in the club and be like, "Do you want to get with me or not?" <laughs> I'd be like, "Are we going to get with each other?" And they'd do that to the bouncer, <laughs> to the person behind the behind the cloakroom, <laughs> to the owner of the club. No, I just got your your five six four. <laughs> <laughs> Number. It would be really awkward at family events, like my yeah. grandma's. Do you want to get me or not? <laughs> Max, Is this I... going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I just asked you to pull my cracker. <laughs> I feel like we're beating around the bush here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think being for- more forthright is helpful to everyone because you you save everyone's time, including your so- yourself and them. I th- like I also feel like you're waiting for them to do that. Yeah. So instead of being like. Oh, but I don't want to get rejected. If you're waiting for them to say it to you, then, like, yeah, am I making sense? Oh, George, sense? that I, didn't I make no sense. George, I didn't like that. I think we're both a bit drunk. Should we put vodka in our drinks? Put vodka in. <laughs> Guys, I feel quite... I, I feel really drunk. <laughs> right. I think it's quite funny. <laughs> Right, if you got a... I don't know why I've got so drunk off like oh, but anyway. did you put vodka and the hooch in but I feel like you must put a lot of vodka in and I've just drank it more We've quick got than no usual vodka left. seriously yeah. what <laughs> actual. actual actual I don't know what that meant yo Actually. that's mine you're not daddy no I'm not I'm world's best boss Sorry, audio listeners. We just looked in the cupboard and there was no vodka left. We need to do a big <laughs> buy. Establish that before next week's episode. We need to do big <coughs> buy. We've got fun guests. We'll do big buy. Big buy. Yeah, big, we'll buy. big buy. Um, and in fact, any alcohol <laughs> companies send us some. In fact, should we just start messaging them? I'll message. Should we message AU? They have nice, like, fancy vodka. I'll message Conor McGregor see if he can send us over some whiskey. Yeah. Does he actually do that? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Sound. Oh. Come on, she's a have us on proper 12. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. But do you know Conor McGregor? How much do you know about fighting sports? I feel like you're a big fighting UFC sports. fan. I thought you were a footballer, Conor McGregor. You mad? Am I, do I look mad? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? You thought Conor McGregor was a footballer? I, I, I recognise the name. Yeah, but as a footballer? Well, I don't know what it's from. It sounds boyish. Oh. We- Oh, yeah. no, I'm not. Woo! <laughs> he burped. <laughs> I'm not he did burped. it in the episode where they said in a voice oh. note about a burp. Max burped. See what I mean though? It, I'm literally like <clears throat> speaking, and then it goes bloop. It was Nini you made leaks. It sound like it was a text notification. That's not what it sounds like. Nini leaks. Do you know who Nini leaks is? No. Exactly. So shut the fuck up. How about that? <laughs> What does that even mean? Nene Leakes is one of the best Real Housewives of all time, and oh, I want her. I want her on the pod. Oh god, she's so rich and famous, and the fact that you don't know her means you're a stupid boy. You're an idiot boy. Do you know what that made me laugh for the last podcast? <laughs> when I said you, silly little idiot boy, you go, you go what <laughs> idiot? <laughs> 
<laughs> silly idiot boy. I went silly little idiot boy. <laughs> and Alex is just there like, what? <laughs> How many more have we got? Have I we... don't know. We, we keep getting side... We've got quite a few left, I think. I've got an email. Nice. I've got an email. Email boy. Silly little email Wait, boy. Wait, should we both down drinks? I think that this is just quite fun. I think it's just because it's just been my birthday and I'm a bit crazy. Wait, let's right, both well, down our drinks. Birthday celebrations. Guys, I'm going to get... You gonna get what? <laughs> you said, guys, I'm gonna get. And then my brain lost drinking. track halfway through. <laughs> you must have put like a lot of vodka in that first drink, considering we've run out now. Because there was a, a hefty bit left. There wasn't he- There wasn't much heft. You've left. There's a email come through there, mate. All right, wait. Three, two, one. All right. I'm in a What do you want? What was that? Or the lemon brew. Oh, my eyes when are it says brew, it just what does that mean? You get so emotional because you're 20. Are you 24 now? I'm 24 now. Are you still 22? 23. Yeah, you are. You just turned 23. I'm out of breath. I drank a drink. <laughs> are you, are you um, on the lemon brew hype? Yeah. What does it mean when it says brew? Is that like. It's just a way to beer. show you that it's alcoholic, not oh. a lemonade. Right. It tastes quite nice to be fair. I don't know what is happening in this episode right now. I think we're getting a bit <laughs> wild. A little bit fucking crazy. What's my sign say? <laughs> my what do you mean? I forgot what it said then. I broke it, didn't I? I should get a new sign. I or you should probably one. read what's in front of you. Oh, yeah. Upside down. Christ. <laughs> 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 um, I've got oh, three shit. cans behind here, by the way. That is. The... I'm a hoarder. Right, are you ready? <laughs> I'm a hoarder. Right, cheers. To the audio listeners, I'm... I'm you don't even tell the audio I'm, listeners what you're doing. <laughs> to the audio listeners. <laughs> audio listeners, I'm not even joking. I'll follow our podcast. It's so fucking rude. Because we can see how many of you listen, and that's so amazing. But if you follow it, then it, like, does something to us. What does it do to us? I would love to apologise to everybody <laughs> listening right now, because, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> My seat just proper nearly decked it though. <laughs> Max almost, for the audio listeners, Max almost just <laughs> fell off his chair. Oh my god, that was like intense. <coughs> my heart's pounding. Good pitter patter, pitter patter. They won't be able to hear your oh. heart. Not it's like not a, a megaphone. It's not a stethoscope, is stethoscope. it? Stethoscope, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad for I feel I'm so I'm sorry, sorry everyone, for I'm really sorry. Everyone. This right I now. didn't anticipate this, it's just. <laughs> yeah. Um. You ready now pulled out of the printer like half an hour ago to read it okay hello george um <laughs> <laughs> shut up oh my shut god up. shut up hello george and max i have an issue my stepmom is really weird with me like telling me very much inappropriate stories and things when i was 13 she told me about her doing anal Ooh. but more concerning but more oh. She when I was when I was thirteen she told me about her doing anal, but more concerningly she hinted to me that she has cheated on my dad and I am ninety nine percent sure that she has. My dad is the loveliest man you will ever meet. <laughs> you know, this is like when you're in English and the book gets handed to the person in class that you don't want to be reading. <laughs> and you're like, oh, please, get to the end of the page so you can hand it on. You're just, you're reading so robotically. The thing is, that was me. <laughs> that was me. I couldn't fucking read. I actually, I'm not that good at reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Max, your turn. You read to the end of page 297. Right, shall I start again? <laughs> Go for it. No, I'll carry on from a point, I don't know. My mum, when I was 13, she told me about her doing anal, but more concerningly, she has hinted to me that she's cheated on my dad, and I'm 99% I'm <laughs> I'm 99% sure that she has. My dad is the loveliest man you will ever meet, but my stepmom treats him like shit. I want to talk to my dad about it, but I don't know how to approach the topic. I'm not sure if he definitely knows about the cheating, but I think that even if he does, he should, he would still stay with her to avoid a second failed marriage. Both me and my sister, fucking hell, I just want to get on with it. I'm not being funny, I'm, I'm struggling here. Jesus Christ. Both me and my sister think our stepmom is not right for our dad. 
but we don't know what to say to him or oh. if we should say anything at all. Any advice would be appreciated. Please help. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that, oh. That was, you struggled so much on most words then. I'm not being funny. <coughs> Just because your stepmom said she's done anal does not mean she's cheating on your dad. No, but she said, that wasn't what she said made her think that. It was oh. other things she said. What did she say? Well, we don't know, but it was to the point where she's 99% sure that she's cheating on her dad. Oh. Well, how old are you? You didn't say. How old's your dad? They didn't say. Maybe your dad should fucking grow up and um, if he if he has any brains about him, then if you can pick up on that he's probably che- she's probably cheated on him, then maybe your dad should do that. Or I'd say oh. if if you were to be uh, just... I, I was about to say be, be mature about it. I, I, I don't yeah. think it's being mature about it. I think it's... I'd tackle it in the way that just say... What's it, has it said the name? It hasn't no the name. name of the they just put XOXO say, say, at say the say end. Say stepmom has said things that have made me um, worry for your guys' relationship. And I'd yeah. like you. To, I'd like to just put that onto you. Just tell her what she said. And then if he can, if he's like, oh yeah, no, that happened before we were together. Or if he's like, oh, then at least he knows. Ah uh, yeah, definitely bring it up to your dad. Don't bring it up to your stepmom because. The fact that she's even talking about doing anal would suggest that maybe that's her sense of humour. Because you're not going to frankly talk to your stepchildren about doing anal, are you? Not together, You're likely, at least. No. no. I mean, fingers crossed. It's 2023, though, to be fair. Anything's possible. But that's not legal. Is it? It's legal if but you're of age. it's frowned upon. Yeah, it's frowned upon. I don't think you should do it. Stepmom, despite what some websites would yeah, say. Yeah, I yeah. Isn't it weird that that's like a thing? What? That like people want to watch like stepmom porn. Yeah. And stuff. I feel like I'd. I find it weird, but I feel like I'd find it even more weird if I was in, if my parents were split up and, and you had, had a I had a stepmom. Yeah. So you just don't find it weird, and you just wank off to it all the time. No. What <laughs> I said, I still <laughs> find it weird. But I would find it more weird if I. But could it is relate your most situation. searched category, though. Yeah, it is. Of on course. My, on my Pornhub rap. Well, you often go naked, get... don't you? <laughs> <laughs> my Pornhub rap was very stepmom oriented. Yeah. Well, you go. Um, you often go nephew, auntie, don't you? That's no. That's weird, Max. Is it? It's all very weird. It is a bit family Porn member stuff. Porn is quite is... odd, isn't it? When you think about it, I mean, obviously. I mean, you'd know you filmed some. Yeah. I wish, oh my God, I, not not that I wish that I'd done it, obviously, but I wish that, not, what am I saying? So, this is so good. someone You're once, so broken someone right once was like, would you do OnlyFans? And I was genuinely like, the thought of my, seeing my naked body at full Ugh. length makes me feel sick, so I would not subject that to anybody else. Okay, you wouldn't, you wouldn't sell pictures of your full body. Would you sell pictures to someone of your feet knowing that they would be pleasuring themselves to it? Yeah. I couldn't do that. Uh, why not, you weirdo? Why am I a weirdo? Because you don't want to earn easy money for feet. <laughs> okay, here, but second question. Selling... Have you done that? No, I've never Ooh. done. Oh, I used to. Um, I used to have this person on Twitter. I don't. I don't use Twitter anymore. But I used to have this guy before I was like TikTok, anything for even oh, knew what I TikTok was, was. was. Pretty much, yeah. No, before I had TikTok or anything. And I had like maybe like three thousand followers on Twitter, which was quite a lot still. That's to be still fair, decent. yeah. I think before I started posting that I had Twitter on my TikTok. That was because you're a fucking weirdo, though. You don't really count. Like, oh, I just won't finish my sentence. <laughs> don't carry on. Sorry, sorry. I, was, I feel I was, bad. Yeah, I, had, I had like three hundred followers or something. Yeah, it's exactly. Because you're a fucking people. weirdo, and nobody cares about you anyway. No, I'm joking. That was a joke. I just wanted to make that clear. You people do care about you, but you are a weirdo. You're a fucking weirdo. Anyway. Um, oh this one guy would message me and it was when I first moved to London when I was like 19 because I did an internship over summer Right. and this guy would like I would like send him a message like hey please can you like give me money to get a takeaway and he would do it and I thought that was really nice but now I think a bit weird sugar daddy pretty much but he would give me like 20 quid so not really much is yeah. it I but then that- there was this sorry I don't know why I'm like um, there was. Have you heard of cash pigs? Pay oh pigs. my god! There is this unbelievable. We saw because Cody Co. Do you know Cody Co? Singer. 
No. Oh no, I don't. No, he's no, now he's now him. done a video on it. He's a American sort of commentary YouTuber. Right. He's now done a video. Maybe on it I do. Know I remember him. me, Alex, and George Mimulus. We um, we all were watching this. We typed in Paypix because I hadn't oh, heard of it. We yeah. typed it on YouTube, and Cody, Nat, Cody and Cody Cohen. Well, you three Miller often do that, like thing together, don't you? Where you just like look at different things on the internet and grow up each other. I mean, carry on. We don't know. Do you not? Um, oh. We, um, pay pigs is it's mental it's so it like again we're, I'm not kink shaming I, I couldn't imagine myself in that scenario no like, I, that's, but I used to that have to one that to me is is not the norm yes but like but I mean some if, if, people, that's, if that's your thing go for it because I mean, like, I mean it's your money do what you want with it but also like so I used to have so when I lived in Newcastle I got started speaking to this guy who used to speak to this other guy that I had like matched on Tinder or something. And then we just happened to speak about him. And he was like, do you know that he like gets all of his money from pay pigs? And I was like, what is that? I'd never heard of it. Yeah. And then he said he has a full Twitter account where he has like 10,000 followers and they're all pay pigs. So every day he tweets- 10,000 people 10, pay 10,000. So he posts- like, what are my dirty little pigs going to do for me today? Jesus. And he's like, I feel like going to the gym. I feel like buying this jumper. What are my dirty little pigs going to do for me today? And they all would reply. He, like, he showed it to me. They would all reply under it. Like, I've just sent you £10, sir. But if you think, like, 100 people yeah. sending you £10, that's easily, what, 50 grand? I yeah. don't know, Matt. I mean, if you, if you type in, um, I, I'm not even willing to try and do the calculation. I, I didn't hear the numbers. I don't want to hear them. It's one thousand apparently, just from what the little earwig in my ears told me. So that's fifty quite grand. Close. You thought it was. I I didn't <laughs> listen to the numbers because you're chatting absolute bollocks. But fifty grand. You thought. Well, and I it was didn't a, say it was that. One thousand pounds. Never said that. Right. No. So I didn't if, say have you that. typed in the hashtag PayPigs on Twitter? No. Absolutely mental. What comes up? Oh. But I, Shall I, we I do it? A, I, no, Shall we both do it? No, I have a story for you. Right. I'm ready. So I went to Boardmasters. Oh yeah, you did. Um, and there was a girl in the tent Surfer near bro. us, and this is where oh. I found out about pay pigs. Oh. Um, she was like, "Oh, I do pay pigs," and uh, me and Sam, <laughs> Mr. Sings, shout out if you're watching. I he doubt does he it would at this point. No. Oh no, we were like, "Oh, I what's that? that?" Neither of us knew. Oh. And she goes, "Oh, uh, these guys basically just send me money for doing things or like showing me stuff. It's yeah. even them sending things to you. They want yeah. you to see, and yeah, they'll yeah, send yeah, you money yeah. for it." Yeah. Um, and she got a video from a guy who's kink again not kink shaming if this is if this is your thing go for it but to me i don't see this as something that i'd willingly do mm. she sent a video to her uh, he sent a video to her mm. of him completely stark naked hopping inside one of the big bins outside the back of like a <laughs> thing and just shagging the rubbish i'm going to leave I know, and I, I was like, wait, get back down so you sorry. can listen. I'm so sorry. I, I and I said, I said, I said, what? What? I, the I was like, fuck? I was like, no, he didn't. And he's like, yeah, his shagging the bins. No, again, what he, if there was like his thing that he likes in there? He, is, he cut himself. I know it seems dangerous. Like very. Ever heard of a tetanus jab? Um, and he said, and and I was like, I don't believe it. She goes, oh, yeah, I don't believe it. Show, I'll show you. So I've seen a video of a man inside a big trash can shagging the rubbish i mean to be honest with you and it go was filmed it. on his phone he just propped up another bin i assume and he hops in and he's just hands on each side of the bin i mean both members are getting pleasure i see no issue exactly i mean spend that how you want i feel sorry for me, the bin bag to, to me, be honest with you i wouldn't want to put myself in that situation well no because most of the people that you shag are trash anyway so it's like not that I mean, big that would of mean a... I would want to be in that situation, Max. I've had a bit too much to drink, and I'm not claiming that I'm making much sense right now, um, but I am trying. However, what I will say is, if both parties are enjoying themselves... Go for it. I say go for it. I used yeah. to have... So, so when I found out about this whole industry, yeah. I gave it a go. No, you didn't. And what, I, when we used, what, like... Like, before, ago. I would tweet, are there any hashtag pay pigs out there? <laughs> I actually did. Did you? I promise you I did. And I got like two people, one of which who was like, yeah, yeah, I'm really into it, but like send me this. And I was like, I'm not fucking sending you anything. Mm. But there was this one person 
<coughs> who would like That's get cool. off on me degrading them. So I would message them like, you dirty little disgusting fuck, send me 20 pounds now. And they do it right away. PayPal, bish bash bosh, 20 quid, sent. Yeah, yeah. If you type in PayPigs on YouTube, you'll get a video of this girl who's like, hi guys, she gets a normal sort of ukulele ding, 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 ding music oh. in the background of her intro, oh, right? right? Okay. And it'll crop up and she'll go, Hi guys, I'm just doing a sort of day in the life. She's, I made her Australian, she's yeah. American. Okay. Um, and there's this video of her, she gets, she's like, I'm just, uh, today I'm going to visit one of my pay pigs. And then she, guy comes along and with a, a like jumper over his head. So you can't see who he is. Mm. And he's just sort of praying down to her, literally on her feet next to a cash point, just getting money out for it. Like spends most of his income on oh, yeah. just giving it to People her. People bankrupt themselves. Yeah. Like that's, like, that's what he likes. I say go for it. If wherever there's a key, there's gonna be no wait, wait, wait. What's what am I saying? For every lock, there's a key. Very true. And I say, ram it in there and open that door if you need to. Right. Yeah. So whatever weird thing you're into, I'm not saying that's weird. Not kink shaming is a bit weird though, isn't it? I'm not saying that's weird, but like someone's gonna be into it. So I say go for it, especially if both parties were getting enjoyment out of it. What was the question that led us to this? I have absolutely not. So I say we just move on swiftly and ignore that question because I've just got an email. How have you? I have. For the audio listeners, I just twatted my keyboard to high heaven. Jesus Christ. I feel sorry for anybody that's made it this far. <laughs> I think you're not having in a great life, time. Just in this episode. <clears throat> Right. right. You read it, George. Go on. Read it. Okay. <coughs> this is the last one, right? <clears throat> yeah. Hi, Max and George. I'd like to preface this by saying I'm 20, but very sheltered and innocent. Oh. I did not know the sexual implications of calling someone daddy until about a month ago. Oh. I'd been on a few dates with the guy I'm currently seeing when he told me that he wanted me he wanted me to call him daddy. Mm. Not just in a sexual setting, but in daily life. He decided that he wasn't going to respond to my text or have a conversation with me unless I addressed him as such. Mm. Just daddy upon, upon daily daily things. Yeah. The problem is that I refer to my actual father as daddy. I'm very close to my family. This is very common where I'm from. Mm. The guy I'm seeing is aware of this, and if anything, it made him more insistent that I use it for him, even though I have told him multiple times that it makes me uncomfortable. Mm. Also, he happens to be 12 years older than me. Thought, which is giving me the heebie-jeebies a bit. But otherwise, I really like him. What shall I do? Shall I call it off or stick it out? I genuinely thought you were going to say he happens to be 12 years old. No. <laughs> 12 years older. Thank fuck for that. So, um, many a question. Number one, would you be willing to call someone daddy or have them call you that? Yeah. Would you? Mm, I don't know, actually. I think it's a bit weird. I feel like anything. I mean, I mean, not kink shaming, not kink shaming. <laughs> You're not kink shaming if it's not what you want to do. You don't have yeah. to. I personally don't really see the whole like, oh my god, daddy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But if that gets someone off, and for whatever reason they look at me and think that I am their daddy. Yeah. Then good for them. For every lock, there's a key. Okay, you're getting a little bit deja vu here. Second okay. question. Would you call Doja your Cat. dad daddy? That is something I wouldn't go anywhere near. So can I confess? <laughs> no, Max. Yeah, I'm being deadly serious. My mum made us call her mummy, like, indefinitely. Indefinitely? What, so you still call her mummy? I still call her mummy, but I often... Do you actually? So, my mum, <laughs> when we grew up... go, mummy? <clears throat> when I grew up, so me and my older sister who is right. seven years older than me, okay. will still occasionally call her mummy, but then we acknowledge that it's weird. Yeah. But my mum used to shout at us when we would call her mum. So when I obviously became like 10 years old, I was like, right. oh, I no longer want to call her mummy. Yeah. So then I'd be like, mum, and she'd go, I'm not mum, I'm mummy. And she'd actually get pissed off at us. Oh. So then, <laughs> so then my, me and my older sister, and my little sister has got out of it, and my little sister calls her mum, right. but instinctively, I call her, I, I like go home and I'm like, mummy, and then I go, oh my God. And then I have to force myself. It's like, if you told me that your name is now James, yeah, I would instinctively go George, but then I'd realize and I go, oh, James. Yeah. So now I, I go home and I'm like, mummy. And then I'm like, Ugh! and yeah. I've been in fucking Asda with my dad. Bear in mind, my dad never forced it on us. It just because like it no, happened. You you've called your dad. I daddy. was in Asda 
All right, darling. I was in Asda and I was like, Daddy. And then I was oh, like, Ooh. People definitely thought he was your true yep, daddy. Yep. Oh, awful time to be alive for me. Um, people always think that me and my sister are dating whenever we're out together. Well, that's because you keep getting with each other. And you should probably stop, especially in public. Whatever you do in the comfort of your own home is up to you. You think incest is okay in the comfort <laughs> of your own home. That's mental, firstly. Secondly, not happening. Thirdly, I can sort of understand it because we're both similar ages and we walk around together. And I but... mean, I've seen you next to each other. You don't really look that much alike. No, we don't. Yeah, whereas yeah. me and my sister... We look quite alike. You are just the same people. Yes, but and you, you and, and your sister and, don't um, look Paul that much alike. friend. Yes, well, that's my mum. That's mummy. <laughs> that's your baby mama. That's my mummy mama. Um, mummy mama. <laughs> baby mummy. Uh, anyway, back to this. Yes. What was the question again? Just um, to remind me. It was me. about them calling daddy. Calling the, their boyfriend um, wanting them to call them daddy, but them feeling slightly uncomfortable. With that it is so weird. I'm sorry. That is dad. that is like forcing your kink onto somebody unnecessarily whatever you do in like your like bedroom and everything is fine but to bring it to the extent that someone has to do it in your daily life and you're not comfortable with it i don't think that's okay even if you're doing it in the bedroom and they force it upon you that's still wrong yeah um i mean you've done it a few times and i just kind of like you daddy yeah and i just kind of like oh it's it's not my thing but i mean if, if you're into that then it is what it is do you know what i mean yeah, but, but uh, I'd say do what makes you happy. Don't be forced into it and voice your concerns and say, I don't want to call you daddy, sir. Not sorry, you might like that as well. Sir? Um, Mr., whatever your boyfriend's name Maybe is. Maybe if you call your dad daddy, call him dad. Yeah. Oh, hello, Ooh. dad. Father. Yeah, call him father. That's the way around yeah. it. Yeah. Father, Son, and or the Holy Spirit. Husband to my mother, Ooh. maybe. <laughs> husband to my brother. Oh, <laughs> husband to my brother. Is that what you just said? Mother. Oh. Otherwise, it's not your dad. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Husband to my brother. As your sister-in-law. Yeah. Or brother-in-law. And maybe stop calling him and break up immediately, because this is a bit weird. I wouldn't say break up immediately. I'd say I would. toast to him that you find it slightly uncomfortable. And no. if then they say, no, no, I will make you say it, then you're like, maybe this isn't what's for me because yeah. the way that you've reacted to that situation, um, I wouldn't like to experience in other walks of life. Yes, like if I was at church. What? What, forcing religion on you? Yep. Or Where have you brought this from? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Stop. Yeah, call him Holy Spirit or yes. the kink. That is quite hot. Ever present. Ever present? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ever present? I think we need to stop Do you mean om- omnipotent and um, omni... I don't know what you do with your nipples. I don't want anything to do with it. Thank you, sir. Not omnipotent. That's what you just said. Omnipotent, omni... What is it? It's omnipotent, omni... Anyway. Benevolent. No Thank you all. very much, everyone, for calling into the useless Jesus hotline. Jesus Christ, you are absolutely. I just want to say one more thing. Everybody who calls in and sends a voice note, can you please get to the point <laughs> and make it interesting? <laughs> I love you to death. Honestly, though, mm. I spent about an mm. hour today going through the voice notes wow. that people send, and some of you just want to have a chat. I don't want to have a chat with you. I personally absolutely love it. No, you I, don't. No, no, you, I, you hate no, it more than me. No, what I will say is that Shut we receive up. we receive far more written ones down than we do voice notes. The written ones so, are great, by the so way. So, if you send in a voice note, you may be more likely to get into an episode. So, just if you if you if you that's if a if clever you, way if to you fancy say it. doing it. Uh, then voice note it. If you're not, we understand because it's much easier to obviously write it down. I want to reiterate, I love you all for sending the voice notes, but make it good. That's all I'm <laughs> saying. Just say like what your point is because they'll go, hi, I really like you two. And um, and I'm like, oh, that's nice. It's a good start. And then they go, so um, yeah, I've got this um, uh, dilemma really. And I think we're 10 seconds in and you've not said anything. And I can't use this quite frankly. Talking, I Get can't use to this. the point. Thank you very much Get for watching. Get to the point and I love you. If thank you, you. If you enjoyed, make sure if you're watching, give us a like, subscribe. And follow us. I already said audio listeners, follow wow. us on everything. Please. Please, please do it. Give us I a follow. You. Rate you, us. Please. Download us. Do what you want to us. Please. Uh, oh, that's a bit ignore weird. Ignore us. Yeah. Um, or anything. And we've had a very, very good time. I've had um, a really good we'll, time. I'm sure we'll see you next week. Max might not as he will <laughs> maybe still be hungover. No, I'm good. But I love you lots. We'll and thank see you. you then. And remember, if in doubt.
No, go on, Max, you got this. If you want to uh, whip it out. <laughs> no, no, no. If in doubt, yeah. right. So if you have to, if you have to buzz to go into a club, what the it's hell is probably a sex club. How have club. we got onto this? If you have to press a buzzer to if get into doubt, a club, if in doubt, if you have to buzz, that is not a sentence. Let me start again then. If you have to buzz to get into a club, it's probably a sex club, and you maybe don't want to be there unless you're into it. And pay pigs, I say go for it. Pay away. Right, Max has done non-stop just covering his back this episode. Yeah. So we'll see you next episode Thank when he throws so himself under watching. the bus again. Thank, Thank you very you. much for listening and Love watching. Love you so much. We'll cut Max off till the end of it. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Love you lots. Thank you very much for watching <laughs> the Useless Hotline Pod official. <laughs> Shut up.